Well, here at Go Curvy, I believe I can make a chef out of just about anyone. So joining me today is Jeff Bliss. Give a wave, Jeff. Hi, you got your hands full with me today. I got to warn you. Just... Jeff, we, before we get started, you got to give a shout out. Say hi to your mom. Hi. Hi, mom. <laughs> Hello, Bert, my sister. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, most of you know Jeff as our cameraman here at Go Curvy. And I hear sometimes he makes his guests popcorn and that's it. So Jeff, today we are gonna make an easy spinach sun-dried tomato dip that's not only good but it's healthy. Are you ready? You ready I'm, to get your hands dirty? I'm ready to get my hands dirty. Here we go, roll up those roll sleeves, Jeff. No, Jeff, usually if I would be making this for my guests, I would take my time and I would chop it up. But I want you to be able to make this quick and easy. So we're gonna let our little handy dandy chopper. So Jeff, we have got um, a cup of artichokes. You can either use the frozen artichokes. I couldn't find frozen artichokes, so these are canned. Throw them on in there. We have got half a cup of fresh basil. Smell this, Jeff. Oh, that's fresh. That? It smells like an Italian kitchen. Ooh, gotta love that. Throw that all in there. We have got two tablespoons of lemon. This is gonna give you some zest. And Jeff, we have got half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. This is gonna give you that wonderful flavor. We are gonna have, we have a cup of feta cheese, but we're gonna use, well, I guess it's actually probably more like half a cup. So we're gonna use a quarter of a cup now and a quarter of a cup for garnish. Let's throw that all in, throw about half of it in. Mmm, it looks delicious. Now this is where you can get creative, Jeff. We've got salt but you can only have a little bit of salt. So I'm holding on to the salt. We've got pepper and garlic go to town. All right. You like a little bit of pepper or a whole lot of pepper? I like just a little bit just of a black pepper, so. How about garlic? Garlic. Go to town, Jeff Bliss. Garlic goes great <laughs> on everything, including the popcorn that I'd make for Matt Barrett, our producer. Our if producer? He, if you'd ever come over and hang out, so. <laughs> I think we'd throw a little Tabasco on there too, don't you? I think so, I think He deserves it. Hot sauce. Okay. All right, one salt. We have to limit our salt intake, Jeff, so we do one little of sea salt. Now, this is where we are going to get creative. And we are going to put our little handy dandy chopper together. Put that on. Jeff, this is so much easy, because easier because it keeps you from chopping, chopping, chopping. It does all the work for you. Push the magic button. All right, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing, everybody. Stop. Now I stop a little bit and have a look. Give it a little bit of a push down there. Do you like your dips chunky or smooth? Uh, with this dip, I'd, I'd like it to be a little chunky, chunky. as long as it's fresh like that. Yeah. So you know you're eating, you kind of see what you're eating. And... That is a great idea. Now, Jeff, you know that I am all about creating chefs here at Go Kirby. Mm -hmm. And last time I gave our beautiful Delany this job, and she didn't do so well. So I'm expecting a whole lot more from you. Jeff, we need to take this dip from this bowl and put it in this bowl. I think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Del Delany, thank you for setting the bar. <laughs> so high, Delany. We love you. <laughs> does, does this not look amazing? This looks amazing. And we, we really oh, want to get most of it in the bowl, Jeff. Yeah. That's Del okay. Delany, that was for you. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. One last scoop, and then we're just going to sprinkle. Now, there's about a quarter of a cup left of feta cheese. If you like it more cheesy, you can sprinkle it on. I don't like a whole ton of cheese on this, Jeff, so I'm just going to give it a tiny little sprinkle. Like that. Okay. Now, here's the best part, the taste test. I like to serve it with whole wheat pita. Dig in. Okay. All right. Have a taste. Get everything in there, a little oh, bit of yeah. everything. Mm. Is that not good? Uh, nothing that I've chopped has ever tasted this good. And Jeff, we did this in under five minutes. Mm. So our lovely beauties out there, for this and other recipes, please go to gocurvy.com.